Hey folks, it's Belgrade Beat on the streets of Mexico listening to some uh, Russian folk metal. Russian folk metal, yeah. So I haven't uh, really like updated you guys in a while about my life, but I'm here with my friend Andre and we're walking down this random street in Mexico listening to this uh, music. I'm gonna turn the music off for a second. So yeah, how am I doing? Yeah, yeah. by the way, this is Andre and you hello, are... Hello. Uh, a uh, Serbian person from, you identify as Serbian, you have Serbian genitalia from yes. uh, from uh, Bosnia, who lives in Canada. No. no, from Croatia, from Bosnia, from Serbia, Serbian. Okay, so this is one of my good friends from Toronto, actually. And you moved to Toronto when you were like, how old? 21. 21 years old, and uh, I moved to Belgrade when I was like, how old, like 25 or something. So yes. it's like kind of the reverse, And but you were one of my closest friends when I lived in Canada. And so, yeah, this is the journey in Mexico. You flew down here for a few days to hang out, catch up. Um, a lot better than hanging out in Toronto, isn't it? Oh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and lots of places are. Did you hear, like, okay, so I, no, escaped, no. I escaped Belgrade in, the, in November to have warmer weather, you know, sandals and shorts sort of stuff. And, and uh, did you hear about the pollution in Belgrade? Like how bad it is. Like do you know that this guy you were telling me about yeah. the pollution. I haven't heard I'm talking Belgrade to, is now I one of the say six, seven people from Belgrade all the time. Yeah. No mention of that. No you mention. talk about it. Yeah, because it's literally like one of the I mean I don't like November. I don't like the cold colder and darker days of November. Days are getting colder. I've been very open about this to everybody and that's why I'm here in Mexico. And um yeah, but the pollution in Belgrade is ridiculous. Like, it's literally like, yeah, you can't see across the street. And, I mean, like, there's no solution to this problem because, like, Serbia is such a small country and all the countries around are contributing to this problem, so it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. Anyways, I burnt out on the Belgrade in the winter thing. I look forward to being there next year. Yes. I don't know. What do you think of me and my life in Serbia that I've managed to get an audience on this YouTube channel and stuff like that. You are you. I am... I don't feel I am... Uh, but you contributed to this, like, uh, of me... Of course I have. Of course ...wanting I have. to visit no, Belgrade what, for what the first time in 2006. I would be too subjective. You're one of the dearest people to me. All right, so, so I would be too subjective to actually offer an opinion there. Okay, so, yeah. That's what but, I But, yeah, this guy is one of the reasons I moved to Serbia in the first place, because, <laughs> like... I saw a certain culture that we had in common and then I went in to Belgrade and mm -hmm. and then eventually realized that lots of people there have a lot in common with me and my opinions about life and stuff like that and spent the last uh, bit of time living there. But yeah, I don't know. People there, I mean, it's such a beautiful city, Belgrade, and such a amazing sort of like potential for like a world metropolis, but people there are just, they don't realize what they got. So. What do you miss about Serbia, Balkans, culture that you don't have in Canada? <sighs> the relaxed feeling? Yeah, because Canada since Corona, at least. I noticed this long before Corona, like from the year 2002 yeah, or something. Yeah, about it and I noticed it and I... Yeah, hoping because slash... being, growing up in Canada, I noticed that the culture mm -hmm. was going in a direction which was pretty fucking crazy and kind of authoritarian and, and really kind of like this political correctness and all this crap, but now the corona thing is just like, put it over the top, but you still want to live there, obviously. Um, because you were no, an immigrant really. there. No, not you were, really. No? Uh, honestly... You want to be a digital nomad like me? And be able to spend a month in Mexico? And then fly to Thailand and all that crap? Uh, definitely not as much as you, yeah, but okay. yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, my point is somewhere... I think it was last July yeah. when Ontario Board of Education decided that uh, all teachers have to, all math teachers have to say that math was evil, was used for colonialism and yeah. stuff. That you had to say that math was evil, it's like, nah, sorry, I don't need your ideology. Fuck off, because they pure, would, pure that would be like, fascist ideology. this is an example of an idea that would just not fly in Serbia, and I'm so glad that in Serbia people just, uh, yeah, people just like, continue. who doesn't like math, doesn't like math. Yeah. But math is 
eat. Yeah. It's not evil, it's not good. It's Anyways, yeah, uh, we're running out of tape. My phone's out of memory, so we're gonna wrap this video right, up. Right, we're right. Greetings from Mexico, everybody. And uh, we'll catch you later. This is Andre. One of the main reasons I got into Serbian culture and stuff like that. So, we'll catch you later.